Good day everyone. Today Lauren and I will be doing a course on emotional maturity and tell me what you think about this headline in News 24 that came out yesterday and this was uttered by JP Smith uh, from the DA run city of Cape Town where he said for every truck, bus, vehicle burnt or vandalized we will impound 25 taxis. This is from the city of Cape Town um, and uh, you be the judge yourself. I said in the last video after live ammunition was fired at uh, law enforcement officials, traffic officials, uh, where they impounded taxis at a taxi rank, I said this is not the best way to go around doing it. There's other ways and means that you can use to not provoke a war with the taxi association. And the city of Cape Town says, we're not at war with the taxi association. Yet, at the moment, people can't get to their work. And another thing that's happened is that the e-hailing drivers in the Western Cape have joined the taxi strike. So, uh, these are industries showing their might and power. And whether you might agree with them or not, the consequences are huge. Even with the outage happening at Kubik Nuclear Power Station, people use taxis to get there and these workers cannot get to site. So you are being affected by the direct actions of the city of Cape Town and you need to understand that when there's a better way of doing something, that emotional immaturity can have a huge consequence on your life. And when it comes to the Deiran city of Cape Town, emotional immaturity is everywhere. The city of Cape Town denies that it has declared war on the taxi industry. Mayoral Committee Member for Safety and Security, J.P. Smith, however, announced a further clamp down on taxi operators. Smith said they would proceed with impounding 25 vehicles for every truck, bus, vehicle or facility that is burnt or vandalized. This is the signs of a madman, someone that is emotionally mature, protected within a party system. And the current governance system has to fall because it has brought the country to its knees. We will ensure that a new system is put in place to replace these power hungry psychos. These people should not be in any form of power. They do not know how to make emotionally mature decisions and many of you more than 50 of you of you will be joining us this evening at six o'clock as we do that workshop if you go to the telegram group you will find the details you can still join us we are already sending out the zoom links it will be done on zoom and certainly jp smith should join us and maybe learn a few things the city of cape town maintains that it has not declared war on the taxi industry industry still mayoral committee member for safety and security jp smith has threatened further impoundments it comes amid the chaos that erupted shortly after the South African National Taxi Council, Santalco, in the Western Cape announced that they would embark on stay away action and withdrew all their services. Smith, however, is not backing down from a fight with the industry because he is very immature. Smith is not backing down and said that the city will proceed with the impounding of taxis. This is in typical DA form in my time I spent there I just learned that you cannot work with these people or reason with them uh, they all have small man syndrome and those that understand it will understand what I mean by the mentality behind these people they have huge mental issues that is making the rest of society suffer and we can deal with other associations uh, conglomerates corporations in a way through empowering citizens not making life difficult for them training them and this is what we do on this channel uh, we will be rolling out Omega training in September we've spoken about it at length there's a lot of you that are new to this and you can uh, go and follow the link below this video to go to our telegram channel where you'll get details as we update you with regards to that um, I have been asked by Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis to ensure that the violence caused by some in the public transport sector is met with an appropriate response. Another immature statement and uh, to remind them that we will proceed with impounding 25 vehicles for every truck, bus, vehicle or facility that is burnt or vandalized, he said. Very immature people indeed. This is when you have young people in positions of power that do not have the know-how or knowledge. Now I've met with these people before and their immaturity is showing 
under these conditions. Thousands of commuters across the province were left stranded when Santaka joined by eight regional associations met in Kalicha on Thursday and resolved to embark on strike action over issues including the impounding of vehicles. Chaos ensued following Santaka's announcement with buses, trucks and other vehicles being torched. So think about the consequences of your actions, JP Smith. Think of the consequences of your actions, Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis. And be more mature. Be the least and make proper decisions that helps everyone in the situation. Enforce the law that you believe in through actions that does not result in this. There are other ways and means. You know it, but you want to prove and make a point. You are actually starting a secession battle. And I know you will never admit this politically. But this is what the actions tell me, that you are creating a wedge when you say that you are inclusive for everyone. Your actions speak louder than words. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. Click the bell icon to get notifications for future videos and join our Telegram channel. It's grown uh, a lot and I really want to thank those for joining it and look out for those announcements. Do consider joining us tonight at 6 o'clock for our course on emotional maturity. Thank you so much for watching. Till the next video.